Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of our Cage Director initial setup video. In this video we'll show you how to properly cut the included silicone tubing so that it can later be connected to the Cage Director and Doser 2.1. We'll then show you how to calibrate each dosing pump that will be used by the KHD. Once that is done, we'll then wrap up this video by showing you how to set the KHD container fluid levels. So continuing off from part 1, now that your cage director is powered on and assigned to your primary device, the next step will be to measure and cut the included tube so that it can be connected to your KHD and doser. To do that, Take the silicone tube that was included with your cage director and cut it into three pieces. Depending on how you will have your KHD and doser positioned, the length of each tube will vary. Whether you'll have the devices stacked on top of each other or side by side, you can cut the tubes to the length shown here. As you cut each piece, connect one end of each tube to the respective dosing pump. One pump will be used for the KHD water sample. The second pump will be for the reagent fluid, and the third will be for extracting wastewater from the KHD. Do not connect the other end of the tube to the KHD just yet as the dosing pumps still need to be calibrated. Right now the tubes should only be connected to the doser. Once these tubes are cut and connected to the doser, you can go ahead and install the tubing for the other end of the dosing pump heads. Remember, the water sample pump must pull water from the aquarium, the reagent pump must pull fluid from the reagent bottle, and the wastewater pump must pull water from the KHD unit so that it can dispense the wastewater into a dedicated container. Be sure to keep the tube going into the reagent bottle as short as possible. For maximum testing accuracy, this reagent tube should be no longer than 20 inches. When you position the reagent tube, make sure the tube itself is as straight as possible and does not sag in any way. Once the tubes are all connected to the doser, prime the lines by pressing and holding down the manual override buttons located to the left of the dosing unit. Press and hold each button until both the in and out lines are filled with fluid. Once that's done, the next step will be to set the pump speeds and calibrate each pump that will be used by the KHD. To do that, reconnect to your primary device and click on the plus icon to the left of Dose Overview. Select the dosing pump which will be used for the water sample and give this pump a description. Next, set the pump speed to 3, click OK, then click Save Changes. Now take the tube that will dispense the fluid and place it into an empty graduated cylinder or measuring cup. Begin the calibration by clicking on Calibrate the pump now, then click Yes to confirm. At this time, the selected dosing pump will run at the set speed for one minute. After that minute has passed, take a look at how many milliliters the doser dispensed and enter that amount into the flow rate of the pump box. With the new flow rate entered, click Save Changes and the calibration for this pump will be complete. Before proceeding on to the next pump, rinse and dry your measuring instrument. Once that's done, select the next dosing pump to calibrate. In this case, it would be the pump that will be responsible for sending reagent fluid to the cage director. Type in a description, set the pump speed to zero, click Save Changes, and begin the pump calibration. Once the calibration is complete, Take a look at the amount of milliliters dispensed and enter that amount into the flow rate of the pump box. Once that's done, click Save Changes, rinse and dry the measuring instrument and move on to the next dosing pump. Select the pump that will be responsible for extracting the KHD wastewater and type in a description. Set the pump speed to 3, click Save Changes and begin pump calibration. Just as before, take a look at how many mils the doser dispensed and enter that amount into the flow rate of the pump box. Once that's done, click Save Changes. Once all three pumps are calibrated, manually empty the water sample and wastewater lines. The reagent line is the only one that should still be primed. 
Connect all three tubes to the respective connectors at the front of the cage director and also connect a piece of silicone tubing to the emergency drain connector at the back of the KHD. Run this emergency drain tube into your wastewater container and make sure it is kept above the water at all times. The next step will be to set the fluid container fill levels for the reagent pump and wastewater pump. To do that, select the dosing pump which will be responsible for the reagent fluid and type in how many milliliters your reagent bottle holds. If you're using a 500 milliliter bottle, enter 500. If you have a 1000 milliliter reagent bottle, enter 1000. If you'd like to have an alarm triggered when the fluid level drops below a certain point, enter the minimum allowed fluid level and check this box. Next, select container is emptied. This will tell your primary device to subtract the fluid count every time reagent is used by the KHD. For safety purposes, the KH director will only perform tests when there is at least 50 milliliters of reagent left in the reagent bottle. To set the fill level of this container, click Refill Container and enter the amount of milliliters currently in the container, then click OK. Click Save Changes and then select the dosing pump that will be responsible for the wastewater task. Select Container is Filled and then click on Save Changes. This concludes Part 2 of the Cage Director Setup video. For Part 3, we will show you how to connect and calibrate the Cage Director pH probe. We'll also show you how to assign the correct dosing pumps to the KHD and how to configure the test settings for the KH Director. If you have any questions for us, feel free to post on our GHL support forum or send us an email for one-on-one -on -one support. Links and contact info can be found in the description box below.